want to talk to you about fawning dates. Very, very important. This fawn I here have on my left side is a newborn fawn. You can see he has a hard time standing, really is not in control of its legs, just having a hard time. Doesn't really know anything about danger, can't get up and fend for itself. Uh, again, a brand newborn fawn. This fawn here is five weeks old. I want you to see the size difference. It, it's very, very tall, five weeks old. Both of these fawns are females and uh, five weeks makes a big difference. We're in central Texas and today it's 102 degrees. This fawn here is old enough to run and jump and hide and perhaps even follow the shade as the sun moves across the horizon, uh, can get up and move, whereas the young newborn didn't even know to do that. So this fawn here is, has a much better chance of survival. Five weeks ago in central Texas, it was 94 degrees. We had a strong 15, 20 mile an hour wind and it rained about once a week. So it's pretty nice living conditions for a young fawn. Again, today it was 102. This is the 12th consecutive day of 100 degree temperature. So that newborn fawn and the fawns that are still being born, uh, they're at a disadvantage. It's very, very hot. There's almost no wind. It's dry as a powder house. And so the survivability of late born fawns is much, much lower than early born fawns. When you see a lot of late born fawns on your ranch, that could be a clue to your adult sex ratio being very wide. In other words, more does than bucks. And, and, and in this case, this is an example of unhealthy sex ratio. If your uh, fawns are strung out for 90 days, uh, those ones that are born late, they're gonna have a hard, hard, uh, hard start at life. And so going into the winter months, if we have a cold, hard, wet winter, they may not have time enough to build up fat reserves, therefore they never make the winter anyway. So uh, keep the sex ratios tight, keep the fawns born in the optimum springtime like Mother Nature wants it to be. Uh, it's been that way for a million years, there's no need to change it now. So keep an adult sex ratio, a tight adult sex ratio, watch your fawning dates, and in five or six years you'll have a good crop of mature bucks. For Whitetail Domains, I'm Macy Ledbetter.